Space flight does a number on our bodies. We lose muscle mass and density, fluids shift in strange ways. There's even evidence that radiation exposure in space increases the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. And now new research has revealed that long-term missions expand brain tissue with some scary results. I'm never gonna go to Mars. In all the research done on how space flight affects the body, there's been fairly little done on how it affects the brain specifically brain tissue and the cerebrospinal fluid space. But that's not because astronauts don't show signs of some kind of brain changes when they return from a stint on the International Space Station. Many, in fact, exhibit symptoms of an ill-understood condition called Visual Impairment Intracranial Pressure Syndrome, or VIIP. They report poorer vision upon landing that can last for years. And physicals show some of the cause is swelling of the eye's optic disc, as well as increased pressure inside of the skull. So, a team set out to study these changes before they even happen. They used MRIs to look at astronauts' brains before and after long and short duration missions. Long is 165 days on average, and short is 13 days on average. Physicians then read the scans, looking for displacement of brain tissue and narrowing of cerebrospinal fluid spaces. That's the space where the spinal fluid roots in the brain. One point of interest was the central sulcus, it's a cleft that runs through the middle of the brain. It divides the areas responsible for motor control and sensory input. They found the central sulcus narrowed in almost all cases of long duration astronaut missions, but it didn't happen very often on shorter flights. Also, after long missions, scans showed an upward shift of the brain tissue against the top of the skull, as well as a narrowing in the space for the spinal fluid. In the short term comparisons, only one astronaut showed narrowing in the space for the spinal fluid in the brain, but the long duration missions, completely different. It's not entirely surprising that something like this happens. Our bodies are adapted for the gravity field here on Earth. When you take that away, our systems keep working with some odd effects. But all this might sound worse than it actually is. It's a classic case of more research is needed. For the moment, scientists aren't sure what this narrowing means, whether or not it actually has an impact on the flow of spinal fluid, or whether it puts more pressure on brain tissue at all. It's one of many studies NASA is conducting about how space affects the brain, including impacts on motor control and multitasking abilities. Because if we're gonna send astronauts to Mars, we're gonna need to make sure that they get there with healthy brains. For more science in your day, please be sure to subscribe to Seeker. And if you wanna know what another big space danger, radiation does, Amy's got the answer here. And speaking of heads in space, did you know Apollo astronauts saw flashes in their eyeballs? They were cosmic rays. That's so cool. Again, thanks for watching.